Hello YouTube, this is Krosama, and here we have today is the high resolution model Gundam Astray Red Frame. Now, this is such a beautiful model. Uh, as soon as they shown like all the little prototypes and uh, the pictures beforehand, I just fell in love. I thought it looked super, super cool. Now, I'm not the one to always have a, a high resolution model. I've only gotten the, uh, the first Barbados, so I guess like um, the Form 4. And it's a really good kit, but there are some issues and it's, I'm not gonna say it's a hand grenade because I don't believe that, but a lot of parts do pop off very uh, consistently. So hopefully they learn their lesson. They've already released, uh, I think four in total so far, not including like special coatings and all that. Uh, but they have four different high resolution models, the two Barbados and the two wing uh, units. So hopefully this kit is going to hold up well. Usually over time, they definitely learn their lesson and they kind of improve on all of the deficiencies, you know, for example, the master grade as well as the real grade line. But let's go ahead and start taking a look at the box. So although we've been taking a look at the box already, I just want to comment that this is a very, very sexy box. It is, God, this is why the Red Frame Astray is such a popular unit because it's just super, super like flashy, it, the aesthetic is just dynamic. Uh, overall, it's just a very beautiful looking mobile suit, point blank period. And then this version, which is very muscular, I think it just, it has a much better aesthetic than what we're normally used to. But nonetheless, it looks really, really awesome. Came out in 2018 and retails for 13,000 yen. Now taking a look at the back of the box, you have a lot of information right there. So if y'all want to go ahead and pause and read that, you definitely, can if if you can <laughs> i know it's a little bit blurry so pause it when you can definitely see it and you can go ahead and read all that then they show the already pre-made inner frame which is super super bulky way bulkier than the barbados and over here you see nice different aesthetics and poses and articulation when it comes to like the shoulders uh you see some parts with like the elbow joints and just this nice huge pose like very very dynamic and then over here you're gonna have the gabarra straight uh very nice sword i wish they had the uh, the secondary one the, the name kind of leaves me but i wish they had the second one as well and over here you're just gonna have more kind of like um information of the movements and the details and articulation and over here, just more information on the uh, the blade and the sheath. Looks pretty cool, really nice poses. And lastly, you see like a little toe bend, inner details. It is gonna come with the shield and rifle as well. And just looks really good. Uh, the die casting parts is gonna be in there in the, uh, the joint section, so it is gonna have some weight to it. And here's the package content. So you are gonna have the inner frame right over here, and then all the rest of the armor pieces and everything will be on this side. And here is the frame of the Red Frame Astray. Uh, say that 10 times fast. Uh, so yeah, looks really good. Um, kind of toyish a little bit. Like it almost looks like just a basic action figure. Um, but you know, looks really good. The plastic is very nice, very shiny, um, which I, I wouldn't think that the inner frame would have been as shiny as this. Uh, and there's not really too much in terms of die cast. The only die cast I'm really gonna see is right there, uh, these dark red pieces. That is definitely gonna be die cast. Um, other than that, you're gonna have underneath the feet, but I can't find anything else uh, that might be um, die cast part. So, if you do see it, I'm going to keep on looking, but yeah, I kind of like went through the entire thing and I looked in the manual. Maybe I'll overlook something, but yeah, that's the only uh, die casted parts I can actually see. Everything else looks like it's pretty much plastic or screws. Um, but nonetheless, it looks really good. Like it's going to be very posable, but I'll go ahead and I'll showcase the posability in the actual review. Okay, so looking at the first runner, we're just gonna take a look at runner I. Uh, this is the all black runner, it looks pretty good. You got parts for the hilt over here. Um, you got parts for the gun, the backpack, and the shield. So not really too much, it's like a, a pretty semi-gloss um, finish to it. So not too bad. And next we're gonna take a look at runner C. You're gonna get two of these. Uh, now this is a very like, uh, I, don't, I don't know if it's a light gray, it's, it's kind of like a light grayish. Um, but looks pretty good. Uh, a lot of details inside there. So you got parts for the legs right there. I um, think this might be for the knee if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, there's kind of a lot of crazy parts going on all inside here. Uh, a lot of small pieces. So you're definitely going to have to be careful when assembling this kit. And here we have is Runner B. Now this is going to be another light gray runner. Uh, you're going to have a lot of different parts. I think this is going to be for the sword. Uh, with the sword um, sheath. 
And you got more parts right there for the sheath. Uh, looks like you're gonna have parts for the shoulders, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this is gonna be the handle for the gun. You got parts for the shield. Um, this, I think, is the back skirt. Yeah, definitely the back skirt. You got parts for the shoulders. So, looks really good. A lot of, lot of nice little details inside there. It's not too heavy when it comes to the details. Like, it's kind of like that nice uh, middle ground mixture. But definitely when we get to like all the white parts, I know that has a lot of details within it. And here we're gonna have Runner G. Runner G is gonna be all these nice little hands and just like these little uh, joint connectors. So I like the fixed hands, to be honest, way more than when I do the uh, the individual posable fingers. These are really nice. I love the uh, dynamic of this, uh, especially these flat hands. Those are, those are pretty nice. Uh, and you're gonna have some just little dark offset color uh, red right inside here. So. Um, not really too much uh, is going to be uh, very visible. It's really just going to be the hands. Uh, and then this looks like it's going to be maybe the stand. That's what it looks like. It looks like it's going to be the part for the uh, the stand. And this might be the backpack. I think that's a part of the back. And here we have two runner E's. These are going to be very, very glossy white. Uh, looks really good. Oh my god, that's, that's a very nice uh, polish. So this is going to be parts for the legs. This is going to be parts for the feet. Looks like the top of the feet right here. Um, looks like maybe the ankle skirts right here. And just more parts, like then has the side skirt, if I'm not mistaken, this is gonna be the knee. Uh, beam saber, so yeah, lots of little cool parts. And here's runner H, so there's gonna be more parts for the hand. Uh, this is another, just pretty much a white color. Uh, looks like it's gonna be a semi-gloss, uh, not the same gloss as the uh, the previous you know runner that we went ahead and looked at, uh, but just a normal semi-gloss. And here we have runner D, which is going to be more parts for the uh, the sheath, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, you got parts for uh, pretty much the shield right here. And this is going to be a nice glossy uh, finish overall. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's going to be in the same category as the other one. But uh, it's very, very glossy as you know as far as the shield right here. So it actually might be. It looks like it's going to be in the same kind of like a gloss category as the, uh, the previous runners that we looked at. So... Looks really good though, I love, I don't know man, just, it looks super, super good, super clean. Uh, you get all the nice little details right inside there, all these like little ridges that you can go ahead and feel. Uh, and there's gonna be parts for the side of the head, so looks really good. And here we're gonna have runner F, you're gonna have two of these actually. So, very fantastic, pretty decent level of uh, surface detail. I'm not seeing anything too crazy, uh, but there's just gonna be more parts uh, as far as like an offset red. Uh, much lighter than what we've seen in the previous runner, so going to be parts for uh, various you know sections on the kit. Uh, looks like it might be for like the legs right here. I think this might be for the back of the leg. Um, not too sure. I think that's for the shield and just parts for like the leg and all that. So yeah. And then here we have runner A. Runner A is going to be a mixture of different colors. So you have this super high glossy black. Uh, it's going to be just for all the black parts that's going to be on the kit, obviously. Uh, so definitely parts for like the chest and everything. Uh, and you're going to have like this very dark gray. Uh, not too, I don't, I don't remember what this is and kind of too busy to look on the front cover. But yeah, you're going to have some, uh, some dark gray right here. Uh, you do have clear green. I'm pretty sure this is going to be for the rifle. And then you're going to have some more red over here, which is, you know, V-fin and uh, various parts all around the uh, the chest and, you know, different areas in the body. Beam saber effect parts, chrome sword, and a nice glossy gold finish. Uh, this is going to be primarily for the sword itself, but the uh, problem I'm, I'm having right here that I obviously see is that they're not, uh, man, they're not gated properly. Uh, so you're going to see these little nub marks. Unless you like paint them accurately, uh, you're really going to see that pretty much going to be visible. And here's the offset of the red color. So obviously this one's going to be a lot darker than this one, uh, which is going to be pretty good. So you're definitely going to have that um, just kind of multi-layered you know, feel of it. So I, I always like that. I like it when they kind of separate the tones of each color. Uh, so this is going to look really good, almost that real great effect. And here you have the white and the light gray. So the white obviously is going to be very high gloss. And then the gray is going to be kind of almost dull. Uh, now I'm looking at it a little bit more closely. So yeah, the different uh, offset colors is going to look really good together. So with the two blacks, you're going to have one that's going to be very high gloss over here. And you're going to have one that's more of a semi-gloss. Uh, very plastic look. But this one, uh, I think it looks pretty pretty accurate to what you're trying to get when it comes to these high-res models. Um, so yeah, pretty good. I like the contrast of both of them. And you also get a small sticker sheet, which, I mean, if you're paying 130 bucks plus, you know, depending on where you're uh, located, why, I just don't, I don't get why they can't include water slides, but I'm pretty sure a third party will have water slides, so you can definitely use them. I'm just going to use the sticker sheet just because I don't, I don't really care that much, uh, so I'll just go ahead and use this and it'll still look pretty good on the shelf. 
And lastly, we'll take a look at the manual. So nothing really too spectacular. It, it's it's your basic manual, uh, maybe not in the kind of like aesthetic form. Like it doesn't look like er your everyday manual. It's kind of more in the perfect grade line of how they actually show the construction of the kit. Uh, but it looks pretty good. So just different. Um, they go to different sections for each page. So it doesn't look like this is going to take a long time just due to the fact you're not building the inner frame. You're just exclusively building the outer armor. So that's going to be very convenient and it's uh, not going to take too much uh, time out of my hands to go ahead and build this. So as soon as I get this done, which probably will be by tomorrow sometime, uh, I should have this done and then prepared for the actual review. But yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video just to kind of showcase all the runners and everything. Uh, definitely stay tuned for the review, which will be coming out in roughly about two days maybe less if i'm gonna go ahead and be a little more adamant on getting this kit done uh but yeah that's it guys so definitely appreciate you for watching and i'll see you in the review bye bye